。第三十二條咧就講翻啦 ，P 同 Q 兩隻生物咧都係住喺同一個身境嘅，而佢哋嘅族群大細咧係持續咁上升嘅。就問我哋啦，下面邊一句説話咧係最能夠描述到呢兩隻生物？咁我哋做一擊破咯喎。第一句咧就係話啦，佢哋都係 heterotroph 二氧生物，自己唔識整嘢食，係要靠食其他生物嘅。咁啊，例如啦，獅子啊、白兔啊、毛蟲啊，甚至寄生蟲。其實呢句説話之所以錯咧，係因為佢唔能夠排除到呢兩隻生物之間有任何嘅關係，例如暴獵或者係競爭。咁啊，因為啦，只要有暴獵同競爭嘅話咧，佢哋兩者嗰個 population 咧就唔一定係持續咁上升啦。例如啦，如果佢哋係一隻白兔、一隻獅子嘅話咧，佢哋就有機會咧係一個。暴裂嘅關係，佢哋嘅群族大細咧，就應該係呈一個波幅嘅現象啦。咁所以咧 ，A 咧實在太籠統啦，咩生物都得嘅。咁所以啦，就唔能夠係答案。咁你話啦，喂唔係、哦，如果佢係獅子同毛蟲又得唔得？其實都可以。咁只係爭在啦，佢哋實在太籠統啦，係唔能夠顯示得到咧佢哋兩者嘅真正關係，係唔能夠解釋得到點解佢哋個群族咧係會持續咁變大嘅。咁所以 A 就唔係答案啦。跟住去到 B 呢，就話佢哋兩者呢都係一啲好高級嘅捕獵者，例如啦，一隻獅子，一隻老虎咁樣計啦。咁即係話啦，佢哋呢係會同大家競爭嘅。佢哋咪又係食白兔，佢哋咪又係食啲狐狸。咁所以啦，有競爭就有輸贏，贏咗嗰個嘅，自不然有多啲嘅嘢食啦，大啲機會生存同埋繁殖啦。所以啦，佢哋嘅群族嘅大細呢應該係增加咗嘅。咁但係爭輸嗰隻呢就會跌噶咯喎。但係而家佢話啊嘛，兩個嘅群族咧都係變大啊嘛，咁所以又係錯啦。跟住我哋講埋 D 先 ，D 就話啦，佢哋咧係有唔同嘅捕獵者去食佢哋。如果呢個情況係屬實嘅話咧，佢哋兩者嘅群族咧應該係變細，甚或乎啦應該係有個波幅，而唔係持續咁上升。如果佢哋都係有個捕獵者食佢哋嘅話咧，佢哋應該係講緊升跌、升跌、升跌、升跌，而並不是持續咁上升。咁所以 D 咧都係錯。所以成條題目咧就考緊我哋有關於 niche 生態位嘅呢個概念啦。咁咩叫生態位呢？咁通常咧佢都會同生境咧 habitat 一齊嚟講嘅。生境就係講緊啲生物究竟住喺邊一度，住喺個沙漠，住喺個樹林，住喺個海，呢啲就係唔同嘅生境。而生態位咧就係佢喺某一個生境底下佢所擔當嘅角色，亦即係究竟佢哋係如何生活咧？佢哋係作為捕獵者嘅角色啊？作為一個生產者嘅角色啊，定還是屬於一個分解者嘅角色呢？咁而家咧，我想俾一個例子大家，就係、是、唔同嘅生物咧，佢哋住喺同一個生境，但係有唔同嘅生態位，就係、是、長頸鹿同埋斑馬。大家咧都係住喺非洲草原，但係佢哋食緊唔同嘅嘢。長頸鹿夠高，可以食到六尺高嘅樹嘅樹葉嘅，但係斑馬唔夠高，就唯有食草啦。佢哋兩個擺到明就唔會係競爭啦，一個食草，一個食樹葉。佢哋亦都唔係去互相暴獵對方，佢哋就係正正住喺同一個生境，但係擔當住唔同嘅角色。同意啦，佢哋兩者之間嗰個 population 咧就可以各自各咁成長啦。因為我唔影響你，你亦都唔會影響我，我又唔會捉你嚟食，你又唔會捉我嚟食。講完斑馬同長頸鹿咧。俾多一個現代社會嘅比喻，大家去理解咩叫做生態位。Peter Paul and Mary 咧，佢哋喺同一間公司嗰度工作，同一個生態。Peter 咧係做保安嘅啫，阿 Paul 同 Mary 咧就係做呢個 sales 嘅。咁所以啦 ，Peter 咧佢嘅生態位就同阿 Paul 同 Mary 係唔同嘅。但係 Paul 同 Mary 咧，佢哋嘅生態位係一樣嘅，所以喺呢一間公司入面咧，阿 Paul 同阿 Mary 咧係有大啲嘅機會同對方去競爭。咁啊，因為啦，佢喺公司入面都係做緊同一個職位。咁如果套翻落去生態系統嘅話咧，就係、是、啦，當兩個物種嘅群族。佢哋係擔當住同一個嘅生態位嘅話咧，喺同一個時間咧，佢哋兩款物種嘅群組咧係唔能夠咁穩定咁出現嘅。佢哋總有機會咧係競爭緊嘅。當競爭有人贏有人輸，咁自不然啦，佢哋就唔能夠一齊咁上升啦，就有機會形成一個有你冇我嘅狀態啦。Question fifty two is about organisms P and Q. They are found in the same local habitat, and their population size have continued to grow in the last few years. Which of the following statement best describe organisms P and Q? So let's take a look at the option A. They are heterotroph. Heterotroph it means that they cannot produce their own food. They need to feed on other 
organisms. For example, lion, rabbit, caterpillar, and the parasite. Option A is wrong because this cannot rule out other possibilities of predation or competition or other symbiosis relationship. For example, if they are lion and the rabbit, so their population size will not grow continuously at the same time. So there must be some fluctuation of the lion and the rabbit population. You may ask that what about they are the lion and the parasite? If you ask this question, it implies that option A is just too general to describe the organisms P and Q and then it cannot explain the population size have continued to grow this biological phenomenon. So that's why option A is wrong. And for option B, both of them are the top predator. For example, they are lions and tiger. It means that they may compete with each other. For example, they also feed on the rabbit. So if there is a competition, there may be winner and loser. So the organism, which wins the competition, they may have more food to survive and reproduce. And its population will increase in a greater extent. And the loser, the population may not increase that much or the population may even become smaller. So that's why option B is wrong. And then let's take a look at option D first. They have different predator. If this situation were true, their population size would decrease and the population would fluctuate instead of continuous growing. So imagine that you have the lion and the rabbit situation. The lion predate the rabbit, so that's why the population of the rabbit will drop and then later on it will affect the population of the lion to drop as well. So that's why there should be a fluctuation. But now it's talking about both of them continue to grow. So that's why it cannot explain this situation. So that's why option D cannot explain such phenomenon. So that's why the answer is C. They have different leash. And that's the concept checking in this question. Leash and habitat. So we always talk about these two words at the same time. Habitat is the place where the organism living. And the niche is the role that an organism play in its environment. So it refers to the way of life of an organism in its natural habitat. Are they the producer? Are they the consumer? Are they the predator? Are they the decomposer? That's the role they are playing in the habitat. So I am going to give you an example to talk about that. The organism living in the same local habitat but have different niche. The example is the giraffe and the zebra. They are also living in the African savanna. However, they feed on different types of food. Giraffe, they are tall enough so they can feed on the leaves of the six foot tree. And the zebra, they are not that tall, so that's why they feed on the grasses. So you can see that they are not in the competition relationship and they do not predate each other at all. So it's possible for their population sizes have continued to grow at the same time their population can stably exist at the same time. And for one more metaphor of niche in the modern society, Paul and Mary are working in the same company, the same habitat. Peter is the security guard. Paul and Mary, they are the sales manager. So we can see that Peter has different niche from Paul and Mary. However, Paul and Mary, they have the same niche. So there may be higher chance for Paul and Mary to compete with each other because they play the same role in the company. And then we transfer this concept back to the ecosystem. Population of the two species cannot exist stably at the same time if they occupy the same niche. They may compete with each other for food, for shelter, and then the winner, the population size will increase, and then the loser, the population size will decrease.